Hi everybody, it's Amanda and I'm coming to you with day 16 of 30 Inks 30 Days. Today I'm going to warn you, maybe a longer episode. We're going to be doing a lot of like little fun things, experimentation things. If you've seen the title of this episode, you know that I'm using what is um, kind of a controversial ink on my channel. I mean, it's not really controversial, but you know, what I'm going to do today is going to be controversial in the realm of 30 inks, 30 days, and also just because. Okay, so um, day 15's ink was Alexander Hamilton, Diatrometus Alexander Hamilton slash Aubergine, and I love 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 this ink i love the the way it's writing in this pen i just love this ink like i'm glad i put it in a bigger nib than i have uh, previously had it in i love it there's shading there's it's beautiful i huge fan huge fan of this ink i also love how it looks next to that california olivos like how pretty is this this wow like i'm not usually like a purple and green i know there are people that like love purple and green together and i don't usually like care one way or the other but oh my god these two together everything like this is life right here you're looking at it right here this is life ink life so yeah so i'm like super pleased i'm even gonna show you i don't normally show the hobonichi on here um but we are at the halfway point well we're a day past the halfway point and um yeah like even look here now you kind of see what we've got going on here that's a little bit of a spoiler of what's happening but look how pretty they look next to each other just look how pretty they look next to each other like this is my favorite spread of pages from from this entire thing so far like and i've had some great inks and i haven't like been picking them so they go together um but they can't like it just kind of has happened that it works out that way like oh, i love this one too like but ugh, this is my favorite spread so far this month the 14th and the 15th i usually have at least one spread that i just love the most um in june i don't remember what it was in june i think it was this one like look how pretty those look together i also love this ink and i'm really sad that you can't get it um and then um also in april whoops went too far in april it was this one Ugh. okay so there's usually at least one spread a month that i is my favorite and so far unless i come up with something else different this is it um but yeah so we're gonna do some ink play today so what i'm gonna do is our ink of the day as you've seen in the title i should have opened these i'm gonna move this out of the way real fast um our ink of the day is uh birmingham pens slag gray whoops you can't even see that slag gray now if you know from when i unboxed it well actually when i unboxed it i wasn't like really it didn't it hadn't hit me yet but um yeah like r literally right after i stopped recording i was like oh my god so yeah so this is the old version this is the new version i bought the new version in the bigger bottle because i love the old version so much and then they're completely different so um yeah okay so this is the old one i just dripped water on this card from when i brought the thing over we're gonna do chromatography i forgot to do chromatography on this one too so we're gonna do three chromatographies again we're gonna do the original formula and the new form. I'm already mad. Look, it's green. <laughs> I'm not like actually mad, but like I'm also kind of mad. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Um, yeah, so I mean, but it looks pretty next to that one. So anyway, so we're going to do some little experiments kind of. We're going to do some writing samples in here on a, like a page that I haven't used. I'm gonna compare, I have a couple like gray inks that are already in pens from various other reasons. Um, so yeah, so we've got some stuff to do, but I'm gonna move these, I'm gonna put these back on my 30 inks ring. Um, oh, I need to get these in order. This is like our spread of ink so far, how pretty. How pretty. I was going to do a bright pink, like I was going to do it yesterday and I was going to bump it to today for um, the tonal limbs. And so, but then uh, Ms. Turtle did her video of slag gray. And now I'm like, I need to get that ink in a pen. And so this is what we're doing. We're getting the ink in a pen. We're going to compare. This is like 
a 30 ink pick and a mini review. We're going to put each ink into different pens. In April, I had an ink that I put in two pens and the ink was a uh, Colorverse Matter. I put it in two pens because I couldn't decide and then it ended up in a third pen. So um, yeah, and I don't think I did that at all in June, but I was dealing with samples. So I don't think that I did that in June. I don't think that I did that in June, but this month we're doing two inks. It's the same ink, but it's different inks. And we're going to do two pens. I'm going to use the uh, new formula or the, I'm sorry, the old formula in the gray pen because that is gray. And I'm going to use the new formula in this pen because this is also a medium Twisby. And um, these are both, these are both mediums. And so um, I figure it would be best to compare them in similar pens. So that's what we're going to do. I have not inked my pens yet because I wanted to like do this on camera and be completely transparent about what I'm doing. So yes, so I'm going to move these cards so they're out of the way and don't get like spillage. And we're going to ink this pen. Also, since I'm using both of these inks today, um, there will be bonus samples. So you will, if like whoever wins the giveaway pack that I'm doing at the end of the month, will get a sample of this and a sample of this and you can compare them on your own now this my bottle because you can't get it anymore is getting uh, too low for my comfort level so um, this will probably be the last sample that I take out of this it's the last sample that is leaving this bottle and then I will be hoarding this bottle forever and ever and ever and if I give away a sample of slide gray it will be out of the new bottle a because it's bigger but also B because I don't like it as much okay that's not fair to say on the swatch card I don't like it as much I have not used it in a pen so I cannot, I cannot make that assumption. I mean, I can, but I shouldn't. Um, so yeah, so we have the old formula, the original formula in my cement gray, Twisby with a medium nib. And we're gonna put the new one in the turquoise. I didn't pick the turquoise on purpose. It's just a medium nib that was empty, so. Fill this pen up. I dumped that way too far. Like literally I dumped it like halfway down the pen. Why? Ooh, that was almost bad. Okay. Okay. Slide gray one, slide gray two. All right, so we're gonna start, and I'm gonna do, well, I can't really do two pages because I won't be able to wait for the splats. So we're just gonna do extra double super splats. Okay, so. Oh my God, okay. Alrighty, already it's completely freaking different. Okay, <laughs> why, I'm so. Why am I doing this to myself? I'm gonna make myself so bad. Day sixteen. Also, this is not to knock Birmingham. Like, obviously, the formulas and stuff are going to change if they're if they do it from one place to another, but I just am upset and sad that they have chosen to use the same name on inks that aren't really the same. So that's it. Like I have already placed, uh, after Ms. Turtle did her um, video with, uh, what the heck color was it? Waterfront Dusk. I ordered, I went to Birmingham and I ordered like a ton of ink. I ordered the new formula of Gunpowder Black, but I ordered it and then realized that I have a friend that was, was gonna send me a sample so sorry Casey I have a bottle coming um so because I want to compare the new formulas and I'm already my sample my original not sample my original bottle of waterfront dusk I'm already um thinking is either a different ink or whatever because the swatch on it for waterfront dusk was on purple on the website even with the original formula and now it's even more purple so i think i'm going to like the new version better on that one but i want to compare i have a sample of allegheny twilight river twilight and um, like i want i just want to compare it it's fun to do 
I think this is the one that I'm going to be the most mad about, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, so the ink this is Birmingham Pen Company. I'm just going to write slag gray. It has a longer name. And I'm using AY because that's what the bottle says. And I should uh, write that this is the old. BPC slag gray new. I'm also, I also want to compare it to some, oh, like I said, some other grays that I have in pens already. So here you go. It definitely looks greener and it's uh, much lighter. Ten. go the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog it's green it's green it is not gray it is green it's like a grayish green or a greenish gray but it's green it's green okay so i'm going to splat new slide gray over here and then i'm going to or sorry old slide gray over here and then i'm going to try to splat new slide gray over here so we can compare so there won't be as many splats oops Okay. Actually, let me. That was kind of a juicy one, so let me just clean off my nib. And I'm going to move this a little bit so I can. Bloop. Oops. Bloop. Again, another juicy one. I was hoping to get a splat that looked like this one so you could kind of see like the base color, but it didn't work out like that. So I'm going to spread this out a little bit just so we can see. And just spread this one out a little bit just so we can see. It's green. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me set this off to the side so that can dry. And then we will do our our Claire Fontaine notebook from Pen Friend Carolyn. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do, we're just going to do everything down the side. So do I have?
I don't know if you heard that, but there's a standoff. Hey, Purple, Mr. P, hold on. I have to go get in the middle of cats. Patches wanted to walk past Pearl, and Pearl took great offense to that. Oops. Ruined next pages. Okay. Sorry, like I said, this is going to be a longer video, and I don't know if I'm going to cut out the cat fight <laughs> or the almost cat fight. They seem to be over right now, but... So, as you can see, this is definitely more gray and this is definitely more green. Um, I know I'm harping on that, but as you saw in the, the writing here, um, I originally purchased this just, just because um, when I got a notification about a different ink that I wanted and that ink was sold out and so I figured since I was on the website I'd just get some stuff so this is one of the ones that was available when I had purchased it and so I just got it um and I loved it and I would probably say that it's my favorite gray which is why I'm so disappointed in the new version because this is my favorite and this is not that so now I have to have a new favorite gray um yeah, I mean, as much as I love Color Rush Matter and, like, all the other grades that I have, um, yeah, like, this one's my favorite, and this is why I, I'm glad I didn't get the 120 mil. Um, but yeah, so that's, I think, essentially why I'm so, like, angry, and not even angry, but disappointed in the difference between the two, because I love this one so much, and this is not that. So, yeah. So anyway, that's... That's where the root of the disappointment comes in because I love this one so much. Um, yeah. So anyway, the flow is really great. They both flow lovely. Um, I think that's like I think that's fine. I just think that this should have been named something else because it is not that. Um, yeah. So that's anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. So. I do want to go ahead and do the chromatography. I should have done that in the beginning so it would have had time to dry, but we're gonna do some other stuff too. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm most interested in seeing what these look like in chromatography. So we're gonna do these first and then we will do this one just for, um, just because. Okay, so I'm going to actually, I don't usually write on these first. usually write on them after they dry but I don't want to get these mixed up and then D A A H okay cool and then we're gonna go ahead and fill in my Hobonichi page or at least the calendar page because we can okay so bring this over I'm going to probably speed this up just because I like how that looked when I did it the last time. So we're going to do the old one first. Okay. 
So that's the old slide gray. So pretty. So pretty all the colors in there. It's probably why I like it because it's bluer. We'll hang that one up. Moment of truth, guys. Pretty. I'm not surprised I like this one as much as I do looking at what's in here. So pretty. So pretty. All right, so. I'm going to move this out of the way and continue to say nothing. do some writing samples with some of the other I love that page I still love that page okay. so I'm going to write BPC slug gray old I really should have put this one next to it because this is another Birmingham pen. Actually, I'm going to do that up here too. I'm going to do. So that's just how it compares to some of the other other colors. Gunpowder Black and Slag Gray are actually like fairly similar, at least in the writing. I remember when I was making samples for um, my friend that um, I got their samples mixed up. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, it's green. It's green. Okay. So yeah, so let's go ahead and fill in my little calendar page just because we're here and I'm going to put the new one on top because that's, that section is smaller. I should have actually separated this box, not the whole box, to make it more even, but that was my bad. I wasn't taking into account the little header.
here is our uh, 30 inks, 30 days. We'll be doing um, a slide gray. I bet that you know which pen will get the most use. I will use both of them, but uh, yeah. Um, so anyway. Okay, cool. So tomorrow <laughs> will be a lighter, brighter ink. I don't know if it'll be pink like I've been wanting or if it'll be uh, purple like I've been wanting, but yes, this is... Yes, I'm glad that I have done this and have gotten it out of my system, but I, I feel vindicated. It's freaking green. It's green. It's green. It's green. And if I want to be mad about it, I can be because it's green. Let's, let's, let's just look at that chromatography again. I'm not going to say anything about it. We're just going to look at it because we're just going to look at it. All right. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> If you didn't like this video, I wouldn't blame you. But if you did, um, I, I hope that you did. Um, let's look at it up close. Um, yeah. So anyway, so that's the comparison of the old and the new formula of Birmingham Pen Slide Gray. So anyway, awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was day 16 of 30, 30 days. I will be back tomorrow with a more normal video. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.